everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review The Grand Master. So The Grand Master is presented by Martin Scorsese, and it's directed and written by Car Y. Wong. This film stars Tony Long Chu Y, Z Yi Zhang, Hai Kuo Song, Kong Li, Wu Ping Yuan, Jing Zhang, and Ben Sean Zhao. The Grandmaster is based on a true story. It focuses the true story on a man named Ip Man. It's spelled I-P and then of course Man. The story that focuses around him, all the things that happened in his life, all the events that led up to him training a young boy named Bruce Lee. Going to the Grandmaster, I saw the television promos like a couple of times, just twice. It was like a week before it premiered in my theater. I didn't know too much about it other than the fact that it focused on Bruce Lee's master, Ip Man. It's cool that this film actually came to my theaters because my theaters is not one to get independent films or foreign films. So it's nice to have a foreign film that actually released in my theater, which is only eight minutes away from my house, by the way. So my theater is actually close to my home, which is nice. I like this film. This film is good. It's impressive. If you enjoy foreign films, you're going to enjoy The Grandmaster. If subtitles don't bug you, like you know, words you read from the bottom that translate the language, then you're going to enjoy this film as well because it is a foreign film and it does have subtitles that translates the language. The story in this film is beautifully told how the film was just filmed. It was like a work of art. Fight sequences, it worked for the storyline and made the storyline a little more beautiful. And it was just really cool, the fight sequences, the way they were choreographed. And there was actually a few times where I'd go, ooh! Just because of how real that looked, how it hurt that person. Actor who plays Ip Man, Tony Lung Chu Wai. I hope I pronounced that whole name right. I'm sorry if I didn't though. He does a really good job as Ip Man. He's definitely my favorite part of this film. Zi Wei Zhang does a good job here as well. The film is sad too because of the things that did happen to Ip Man. I was invested in the storyline the whole time watching this film. My flaws I do have with the Grandmaster is that I do feel like at times it is a little slow. Not hugely slow, like, oh, this is dragging. I guess I'm like, eh, okay, you could kind of cut that little piece out just a bit. In the first half of the film, during the fight sequence scenes, while really cool and awesome, I felt like the director was moving around. Uh, not like shaky camera or anything, but it's like you'll be in that one shot, the next shot, the next shot, the next shot, the next, shot the next shot. And I sometimes couldn't see that whole kung fu sequence because of how many times he's like moving around to next shot. It happened a lot of the times in the first half. By the time I reached the second half, the camera work for the fight sequences actually improved in my opinion. It looked a whole lot better, like I could actually see a whole lot better of the fight sequences and just kind of sit back and just be blown away by it. The movie, it kind of ended out of nowhere. The ending's really good. The ending was not really what I expected. Well, I expected it, but like it was... It's like I wasn't really paying attention because I was so invested in the movie. I was really into the story that when I was so invested in it, next shot, it showed end credits and it kind of made me go, wait, huh? That's the ending? Because when you watch movies, you know when a movie's going to end. Like, you know when that certain point of a film is going to end, it's going to end there and you're all like, okay, that's the ending. With this film, I could not predict when it was going to end. Like, I honestly didn't. While that's cool and all, it made me go, huh? That's it? I felt like something in this film was missing. It, may, it could be just me, but overall, I felt like something was missing as I was walking out of the theater of The Grandmaster. The Grandmaster is a good foreign film. If you have a true appreciation for foreign films, if you could handle reading subtitles at the bottom of the screen all the way through, 
go check out the Grandmaster. If it's playing in your theater, definitely check it out. Like I said, especially if you really appreciate foreign films. I really enjoy foreign films, especially when it comes to like the Kung Fu films. Those are just like the most entertaining foreign films in my opinion. I'm glad it actually released in my theater. I'm curious, let me down in the comments below have you heard of the Grandmaster or have you not? I want to know if you heard of it or not in the comments below. I'm gonna give the Grandmaster a very solid three out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!